Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. I am your DC Technical and today we are going to talk about a very hot topic prevailing in the Android development world right now which is Android 13 and its availability. So, as you all know that I am into the custom GSIs and custom ROMs. I have made many videos about how to install, what is the performance, how is the battery backup etc. So in the, today's video I am going to talk and elaborate is there any stable Android 13 ROM available for phones or not? So let's just begin. Before starting this video, I would like to tell you that if you like what you see, do press the like button, do share it with your friends and do subscribe to my channel. You never know whom you're gonna help with one share. So let's just get started. So as we all know that Google released new Android versions year after year around September timeline and everyone is eager to get new Android update in their phones. But do they really matter? Yes to me a lot. And I would like to tell you that I am into like asking developers when we will get their ROM because I yeah, like I am into the custom ROMs but I am not into development of the custom ROMs I'm into flashing and installing so I always ask developers when we will get the ETAs ETAs means estimated time arrival so I would like to put light on some facts about Android 13 custom GSI's available for my phone that is 11T Pro and it is a GSI it can be installed in every phone out there so, I would like to tell you the very basic fact about Android 13 custom ROMs which I was trying from the past few days is that in each and every custom ROM except one that is the latest Pixel Experience GSI you won't be able to receive incoming volatility calls. Incoming volatility calls are not working as of now in Android 13 custom GSIs and custom ROMs. I don't know what the <coughs> reason Many I have talked to many developers, many developers have sent me up many APKs, different APKs to try to install which run <clears throat> the volatility layer but it's not working at all. I don't know what's the reason but the fact of the day is Android 13 does not support incoming volatility calls, VOLT, voice volatility calls only. If you are using your sim on 2G or 3G then it's totally fine, the call is working fine. But as I said, except Pixel Experience GSI, the latest Pixel Experience GSI, which was uploaded on 17th of October 2022, got my loyalty working perfectly. I got all the incoming calls and I was trying it from past 24 hours, but I still moved back to my CR Droid 8.10. <clears throat> I have shared a link, a video on my channel on how to install this ROM and what is my experience with this ROM you should go and watch that video this is the best custom GSI available most stable lot of customization everything is awesome in this GSI so I was talking about pixel experience what happened with pixel experience is that in pixel experience GSI I wasn't getting the battery backup I needed I get around 7-7.5 seven, seven hour battery backup easily without games on this phone in CR right? but on that ROM it's around 5-5.5 five and five and a half hour and I was not liking that at all and it's customization is not available in that ROM at all it's a pure pixel software you get normal customization like changing your wallpaper sounds font size that's it no font of different phones, no changes in the status bar, nothing. You can't even remove that navigation bar gesture option which you get. You can't even remove that pill in <clears throat> Pixel Experience. Note I am talking about Pixel Experience not Pixel Experience Plus. Pixel Experience Plus 13 is not available right now. And the other custom ROMs like I have tried many ROMs there, Arrow, Superior, Cherish and there was one more whatever uh, every other android 13 custom roms i was not able to receive incoming royalty calls as i was not getting any prompt like someone will be calling you and you won't even get that someone is calling you 
and that was the huge major issue i guess so that's the main basic reason why i am not using android 13 rom and why i am not using pixel experience 13 which have the volt function enabled is because of lack of customizations and what lack of battery backup battery backup and customization are the two things which are not available on pixel experience but there's a good news that Volti started working so I guess many developers will now fix the issue by seeing what happened good what happened right with pixel experience that they started the Volti started working so I would like to tell you in this video you people that Android 13 custom ROMs are in an alpha stage not even beta they are in alpha stage and they have lot of issues here and there like somewhere they have memory leak issue if memory leak issue is fixed by developer then sometimes it has bluetooth connectivity issue and as i said i was facing bolt voice over lt issue so e every custom rom android 13 based custom rom have each here and there some you know issues if you want my suggestion on which is the best custom gsi see i am not supporting any particular developer I am just telling my experience CR derived 8.10 is the pretty stable custom ROM custom GSI I have used in my device I have my device with you know many custom ROMs available but I'm not using the custom ROMs because they also get some issues here and there but CR derived 8.10 is the best custom GSI available for this phone I am using it as a daily driver from past one month. I was using 8.9 also and 8.10 like 8.10 also. But 8.10 is more stable and you know I am getting around 7 to 7 and a half hour of battery backup. And it's also support 120 watt of charging. My phone went from 1% to 100% in around you know 27 28 minutes. I have uploaded a full video on CR right. You can check it. I will post the link in the description box below of CR Droid. Using that video of CR Droid, you can also check in that description. You will get options like how to install this ROM. <clears throat> Do install it if you want, you know, up to date software. <clears throat> Everyone knows that MIUI is, you know, buggy and a lot of apps which are, you know, we don't use in real life and it doesn't look good also. If you want some fresh look if you want some good look <clears throat> if you want unlimited photo storage if you want 90 fps in pubg switch to cr droid 8.10 i am recommending you this rom because i have used it personally by this we will come to an end of the video thank you have a nice day to subscribe it to like it to share it you don't know whom you gonna help with one share